The first station, Jesus is condemned to die. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was early Friday morning when I saw my son. That was the first glimpse I had of him since they took him away. His bruised and bleeding skin sent a sword of pain deep into my heart and tears down my cheeks. Then Pilate, from his chair of judgment, asked the crowd why they wanted my son executed. All around me they shouted, Crucify him! I wanted to plead with them to stop, but I knew this had to be, so I stood by and cried silently. Lord Jesus, it is hard for me to imagine the anguish your mother felt at your condemnation. But what about today, when I hold a grudge, crucify him. When I judge others, crucify him. Doesn't this bring tears of anguish to both you and your mother? Forgive me, Jesus. At the cross her station keeping stood the mournful to Jesus to the last The second station Jesus takes his cross We adore you O Christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world Regaining a little strength I walked with the crowd to the entrance of the square. A door flew open and my son stumbled out, the guards laughing behind him. Two men dragged over a heavy wooden cross and dropped it on his shoulders. Then they shoved him down the road. My pain for him was unbearable. I wanted to take the cross from him and carry it myself. But I knew this had to be so I walked on silently. Lord Jesus, I beg you to forgive me for the many times I have added more weight to your cross by closing my eyes to the pain and loneliness of my neighbor. Forgive me for gossiping about others and for always trying to find excuses to avoid certain people who wish to talk with me. Help me to be like Mary, always seeking to lighten the crosses of others. Forgive me, Jesus. Though her heart is sorrow, sharing all his bitter anguish, bearing now at length the sword. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I followed close behind my son as he stumbled toward Calvary. Nothing had ever hurt me more than to see him in such pain. I saw the cross digging into his shoulders. My heart dropped when I saw him fall, face to the ground. The heavy cross landing squarely on his back. For a moment, I thought my beloved son was dead. Now my whole body began to tremble. Then the guards kicked him. He rose slowly and began to walk again. Yet, they still whipped him. I wanted to protect him with my own body, but I knew this had to be, so I walked on and wept silently. Lord, 
How often have I seen you fall, and unlike Mary, have left you there without concern. How often have I seen people make mistakes and laughed at them. How often do I find myself getting angry when someone does things differently than I? Mary offered you her support through your entire passion. Help me to do the same for you by the support I give to others. Lord, have mercy on me. Oh, how sad and sore distressed was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten Son. The fourth station, Jesus meets his grieving mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I had managed to break through the crowd and was walking side by side with my son. I called to him through the shouting voices. He stopped. Our eyes met. Mine full of tears and anguish, his full of pain and confusion. I felt helpless. Then his eyes said to me, Courage, there is a purpose for this. As he stumbled on, I knew he was right. So I followed and prayed silently. Lord Jesus, Forgive me the many times our eyes met and I turned mine away. Forgive me the times things did not go my way and I let everyone know about it. Forgive me the times I brooded over little inconveniences or became discouraged and did not heed your call to courage. Yes, Lord, our eyes have met many times, but fruitlessly. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I could now see almost complete helplessness on the face of my son as he tried to carry his heavy load. Each step looked as if it would be his last. I felt his every pain in my heart and wanted the whole thing to end. Then I noticed some commotion near Jesus. The guards had pulled a protesting man from the crowd. They forced him to pick up the back of the cross to help lighten my son's load. He asked the guards why this had to be. I knew and so followed silently. Lord Jesus, I have many times refused to help you. I have been a selfish person who has often questioned your word. Don't let me remain like Simon, but help me to be like your mother, Mary, who always silently followed and obeyed. Is there one who would not weep when so deep, Christ, dear Mother, to behold.